Good morning. Thank you so much to the friends and family that are here today to celebrate the second grade concert, Sing Around the World. The students and the specialists have been working with your children all year long, learning about different cultures, through song, through music, through art, and through culture. I'd like to pass the mic to our wonderful Miss Lane, who will begin our Sing Around the World performance. Good morning, everyone. How are we? Good? I am just overflowing with happiness right now that we're able to bring back such an amazing Central School tradition of having all of our second graders in one place together singing. Before we begin, there's a few thank yous that I want to make sure I do not forget. First, I'd like to thank our wonderful administration. We are so lucky in East Bridgewater to have admin that supports the arts all across the board in every way. So a huge thank you to our superintendent, Liz Legault, our assistant superintendent, Dr. Williams, to Mrs. Byrne and Mrs. Nichols, our principal and assistant principal at Central School. I wouldn't have been able to help put this together without all of their support. I would also like to take a moment and thank our custodians, both at Central from their help there, but also at the high school, especially Doug for helping us set up tables for our friends that are getting dismissed later. They also helped me all throughout the fall when I was working with the marching band. I thank them so much for all they've done for me. I want to thank our special area teachers, myself in music, Mrs. Trumbull, library media, and then our other specialists that unfortunately couldn't be here today, Ms. Wilson for art, Mr. Ross for physical education, and Mrs. Amaral for health. Collaborating on a performance like this and to have it come all together has been so amazing, and I'm so lucky to have such a great specialist team on my side. <laughs> to my second grade teachers that are all in front of me, Thank you for listening to my 100 emails and questions and helping to support the students learning their songs. They wouldn't be ready today without all of your help, so thank you. I have two recently graduated helpers helping me today. I don't know if they knew I was going to thank them based off the looks I'm getting. But first, I would like to thank Sage Gurney, class of 2023, for helping me with some of the lyrics to our songs. <laughs> and Brian Rapetta over there helping us with all of the media and sound, also class of 2023. <laughs> Both of which are going into musical education in the fall, so I can't wait to be sitting in the audience watching all of your kiddos someday. I would like to thank our second graders. It's hard to have a second grade performance without second graders. So thank you for all of your hard work this year. <laughs> and I promise this is my last one. I'd like to take a moment and thank all of you, friends, family, guests, because they wouldn't be ready to be up here without the support that you give them each and every day at home. They wouldn't feel comfortable singing, and singing's very exposed. So the fact that they're willing to come up on this stage in a new space and sing for all of you wouldn't be there without all of your help. So thank you to all of you for all you do. Without further ado, I know that they are very ready to get started. We're going to take a second, have our second graders standing up, and we will get this show on the road. Thank you again. Top row, can you stand up? Top row. Middle row. Bottom row. And friends that are on the floor. Oh, not the ones with your legs over, not the ones with your legs over. You walk down. Yep, but Curry, Robbie. Ready, go. Welcome to our cultural celebration. Throughout the year, we have been learning about different countries and their cultures. Through their songs, dances, foods, and celebrations, people all around the world have amazing costumes. 
We hope you enjoy learning about these countries too. Our first country is the United States of America. This is the country where we live. It is located on the continent of North America and is made up of 50 states and five major territories. Our landscape includes mountains, deserts, plains, oceans, and islands. Every state has farmland, towns, and cities. Basketball is invented in the USA. We learn the rules and play games of basketball in gym class. Americans also enjoy many other sports, including American football, soccer, baseball, and lacrosse. Americans are very diverse people and celebrate many different holidays and customs, as well as different foods. In America, we enjoy many foods, such as barbecue, clam chowder, and apple pie. America is also known for its variety formed of artwork, and we experimented with printmaking and figure drawing in the styles of American artists, um, Hindu Wiley, Andy Warhol, and Keith Haring and Amy Sherrill. We hope you enjoy our performance of the national anthem. It is called the Star Spangled Banner. It was written in 1814 by Francis Scott Key. And the song became our official national anthem in 1931. Our next song from the United States is You Are My Sunshine. It was written in 1930, and we also interpret it for you with American Sign Language. Our next country is Mexico. Mexico is located on the continent of North America. Many people travel to Mexico to see the beautiful beaches, rainforests, and mountains, and special underground lakes called cenotes. Mexico is also home to many ancient ruins and even pyramids. Mexico is known for spicy foods such as burritos, tacos, flan, and nachos. Maize corn is ground up to use to make flat breads. Mexican culture is colorful and fun. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican artist who painted a lot of self-portraits. 
We created our own self-portraits as well as sugar paper skulls when we learned about Mexico. The people of Mexico enjoy sports, including football, which we know as soccer. In gym class, we played a similar game called Mexican kickball. Mexican traditions include fiestas, piñatas, and sombreros. The official language is Spanish, and we will sing a Mexican folk song called Los Puritos Dicen. It is about little chicks. Konnichiwa, that means hello in Japanese. Japan is an island-shaped country in Asia. Many people think Japan is shaped like a dragon. Japan is known for its mountains, snow monkeys, peaceful gardens, and unique architecture. Traditional foods in Japan include sushi, fish, and fruit, and vegetables that are grown in different shaped molds. They really like the square watermelon. Japan has different art styles. Even their gardens are considered works of art. In art class, we learned about the popular anime style of drawing cartoons. We used a black light to create paintings inspired by the anime style. In Japan, they play a game called Hanasuki. This game is like Batman and is typically played around the New Year's holiday festival. We, play, we learn to play this game using a pool noodle as a racket to hit the a hang into a hula hoop. Each year, the cherry blossoms bloom for a short period of time in the spring. 
During this time, people in Japan will go to view the cherry blossoms during what is called ohanami, or flower viewing. We will sing Sakura Sakura, a traditional Japanese folk song about the cherry blossoms. located in Western Africa. Since it is located near the equator, Ghana's climate is hot and rainy. Ghana's lands landscape includes grasslands known as savannas, which are home to many animals, including elephants, lions, and antelopes. Over 60% of Ghana's population lives in rural villages and one-room mud huts with grass roofs. The national language of Ghana is English. Most of the food eaten in Ghana comes from plants. Cassava roots, fufu, and plantains that look like big banana are popular foods. The game in call is very popular in Ghana. It is played by dropping beans or clay marbles into a bowl. It's, car it's carved out wood. The player with most of the marbles at the end is the winner. Ghana is known for its bright, colorful artwork and clothing. We learned about African artist Kaksel Dokpagan, and we used recycled materials to make three-dimensional sculptures, such as masks and pencils. JJ Kule is a Swahili folk song from Ghana. There is no direct English translation to this of this song. It is traditionally sung as a call and response. audience, like Jameson shared, Che Che Kule is a call in response. So we were thinking of inviting all of you. Would you please help us out a second time through of being our response? So you're going to echo what you hear our second graders say. You ready?
We hope you enjoyed our cultural celebration. We love learning about all the different countries, customs, and people. Thank you for joining us as we sing around the world.